this all uh, is 100% working. Comes up to the prompt just fine. Uh, it's got the Solos um, personality module in there. It has a few useful commands like terminal, which turns it into a terminal basically. Anything you type is just echoed to the port and uh, to the screen. No uh, smarts, just a dumb terminal. Go back into command mode by hitting the mode select button, clear the screen, go back into mode select. You can do memory dumps. So it's working good. Uh, the system has 48K of RAM, useful RAM in it. It actually has a 64K processor technology. RAM. I've disabled the last 16K of RAM because it's in the same address space as the personality module. The other thing that's great about this particular SOL is the keyboard has been entirely rebuilt. These things are notorious for having the, the little foam pads for the capacitance effect deteriorate. So they none of the SOLs work. But I have replaced every one of those pads. So every key works just like it is. You can go through here and just, you can't find a key that doesn't work. It works as good as the day it was built. By the way, when you get a, you see a little question mark pop up, that's the indication for an error. When you type in an illegal command like I've been doing here, you get this little question mark. So. So that's functioning also. All the LEDs over here all work, shift, uppercase, lowercase, all works fine. The system is perfect working order. I've also tested the cassette interface out. I don't have a, a good tape recorder to actually verify, play, and record, but I recorded the sound into a digital recorder just to see if something came out, and I'll post the audio for that. You can hear that it's actually transmitting the audio, and you can hear the mark space changes that are taking place and I also verify by reading back with the get command and playing this back in that it responds to the command it'll hang until it hears the audio when it hears the audio then it'll respond and come back it doesn't load properly because it was recorded in the incorrect uh, format but um, but it does show that the handshake is working properly and that it does record something and it does play back something so I believe the cassette will work with a little bit of tweaking on the audio volume control 64K RAM that's in here is uh, organized as four 16K blocks. The first block is at 0000, the second block is at 4000, the third block is at 8000, and the fourth block would be at C000, but that's where the personality module is, so it's disabled. The way I tested it was I would dump a chunk of each bank whatever's in there and then I would change it by putting F's, zeros, A's and fives and then read it back and verify that it's all in there. You can see zero, F, zero, A, five. So it got written in there correctly and I did this for each of the four banks to verify that each bank didn't have a problem with any of the bits that are located in there. As I said at the beginning, uh, one of the commands that this has is the terminal command. The terminal command is what turns this into basically just a dumb terminal. You have to hit your carriage turns, line feeds. But I also have a second personality module. And that personality module has a command called boot which allows you to boot the Helios uh, disk system um, using the boot command. It, the personality module, has, one version has boot, the other version has terminal. So I have both personality modules for this, so you can use either one. Bottom line on this SOL is it's a great working SOL, has great cosmetic appearance, a completely rebuilt keyboard, 
I have replaced the regulators in the power supply. I have replaced the uh, display RAM with new RAM. I replaced the system RAM with new RAM. It has a processor technology, not an off-brand, but a processor technology, 64K RAM card that is all functional. Uh, and it has two personality modules and the system is is working great.